Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shuggy Wars. I'm going to continue playing Static Rook until we finally get the hang of it. So bear with me. We'll survive through this somehow. Or maybe learn something trying. Good luck. That was loud. I've corrected the volume now. It cost me two seconds to correct that. Hopefully that won't make the difference between a victory and a loss, but you never know. Um, maybe I should have... I don't know about this move order at all. Okay. Then we push this. And then this is where I'm confused as to which silver I play. Or if I push on the bishop's head. I think I'm supposed to push on the bishop's head, but my silver's supposed to be out faster by now already. Um, hmm. Maybe this is fine. Okay, they start to castle. They've not committed to playing Static Rook. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think approaching the bishop is logical. Um, don't know if pushing this, trying to prevent them from building Yagra is logical or not. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play the dumb move, because I just literally cannot figure this out. So now they're going to play Static Rook. And I'm going to play some ridiculous move order, because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this... I'm sorry, what is going on here? Okay, they're playing the rook to this file. But this is not static rook. I'm an idiot. Alright, well, see, that's the punishment for me trying to do something here. Um, I don't have a choice. So fine, you get my silver. There's literally uh, nothing I can do about that. What I could prevent is then having a silver drop that further ruins my day. Um, this is a bit odd. I kind of get why they want to do this. I have a gold general that's loose. Alright, screw it. You know, I'm a chess player. I can find tactics. We're going to make this work somehow. 
even if it's not supposed to work. Okay. Accidental really weird crab castle? What? Excuse me. Why would you do this? How much trouble am I in here? I mean, it's aggressive, sure. I've got two bishops. Hopefully something can be arranged here. Yeah, let's, let's try to block this rook. Gofun. All right, this position's too much for me to understand. There's a good chance this rook is going to drop for nothing, and that's okay. Uh, this is super bizarre. Why would you allow that? Oh, because they're threatening really nasty stuff here. So they don't really care what I'm up to, do they? Um, that's a good point. Yeah, my audio is halfway cutting out here. So this protects my rook, threatens bishop takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn could be followed by taking the knight or taking this pawn. Um, I was initially thinking I would run from this. But I'm now reconsidering because this is actually quite dangerous. If I run, they can continue dropping pieces and chasing my king into the corner. Uh, if I exchange pieces here, they collect my rook over here. So running, running prevents me from losing my rook or a silver. Um, but if I run... Gold drop, king runs, 
they take, take. There's not an immediate mate there. Um. Well, somebody's got to make money to keep the servers running, right? Okay, I'm going to remove this knight. My sound is all corrupted. Hopefully it's coming through okay for you. Like, I get half of each piece noise. The other half gets cancelled out. That's better. Okay, I'll remove this. In my quest to attempt to remove the attackers. Um, yeah, my king is in danger. My king is still in danger. Somehow I hallucinated that I could protect my king this way. Yeah, that's the problem, is that I cannot... Um... Yep, yeah, nicely played. Thanks for the game. Alright, one game down, two to go. All right, good luck. There's third file rook. Alright, I think I'm playing a reasonable move order here, so time will tell if what I'm doing is crazy. Um, okay, we threatened to push on the bishop's head there. Let's complete the boat, because why not? Um, and yeah, I've probably mixed some strategies that can't be mixed, but I don't know that. Um, okay, so... Wait, I'm mixing every strategy here. This is not smart. This is decidedly not smart. Um, Hmm. 
Oh my goodness, what the hell have I done? So, yeah, whatever I've done here is perhaps the least efficient way to activate your pieces and the most prone to, like, getting counterattacked and crushed. So I should reconsider how I do this. All right, our opponent sets us back on course to take this file. Um, my position is extremely loose, which is not good at all. Um, if rooks get exchanged, all of my pieces are hanging, and they have Mino Castle, which is resistant to rook drops. That said, um, it's not all a loss, since they can't actually force a rook exchange. They can offer one, but I could drop a pawn to say no. Uh, does this bishop go this way, actually? Probably. Um, if I drop this back, they have to drop the rook back to... Well, they, the rook can only defend one thing at a time. It's defending the bishop, so it can't also defend the square. So, that's my cheapo of the day. Do I drop in front of the rook, or this close to the rook? Either way, it's a cheapo. If I drop here, they drop a pawn here. And my cheapo is one move slower. Or they move the bishop away, and I have no cheapo. Okay, let's stick with the way that actually does something. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll take a bishop. This tactic is still intact here. Uh, I'm also threatening to promote a rook. Promoting the rook attacks the knight. Um, I'm guessing they're just flustered by the whole affair. Um, could a knight do anything for me here? If I take this pawn, they drop another pawn, they can eventually start attacking my knight. They just take the knight outright, they take my pawn. Yeah, they could drop a silver, but it's fine. If I push here, I'm threatening to attack the rook again. Um, if I push here, they drop a silver. I have to retreat. All right, so... Strangely, it seems just taking this is my best move. Let's use my knight, maybe with my other knight, maybe with my bishop. Oh, I just hung a knight. Um, 
That's okay, their rook is still hanging. So, it's a tempo for a tempo there. And yeah, this rook is defended now, and my knight is still hanging. Um, not my Go finest me. look. I mean, I could defend this, but good god, why? I guess because I can't find a better move? I'd like to find a better move. If I push, they take my knight, I take here. And they take back with the silver. If I drop a knight, it's an interesting shape. What if I just move a knight? Silver takes, bishop takes, rook takes, that goes nowhere. If I drop a knight, I'm not sure that I get a whole lot farther. It does definitely shake up their castle. Um, move the knight, silver takes, I exchange rooks. Drop here, they drop a silver. Yeah, the, my only way forward is to break the shape up, and the only way to do that is to take out the base. And the only way to do that is with this crazy looking move. I have three minutes left. Sampun. Right, you got my interest. Yeah, I think we're both playing aggressively this game. Um, but they are playing quickly until just now. And now they slowed down a bit. Thought I had a clever retort here. I don't. Well, that walks into a tactic. Although, I come out on top on this tactic by a landslide, so it's fine.
1分30秒。This is hard to figure out in case that's not obvious. Maybe that's not the best way about this. I don't know. It looks good. Let's go again. Uh, gotta practice your hishi as well. All right, that's two games down, right? If I'm counting correctly. Well, let's take a quick little break here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the ending sound effect is pretty epic, isn't it? Yeah, Suma are quite important. Once you finally understand those, then you can worry about other concerns. Good luck. Is it time to pull out the Harrison Ford quote about having a bad feeling about this? Uh... Okay, we have a special strategy today, don't we? Hey, I built a thing. That's cool. Um. Hopefully in the future I can build bigger and better things. Yeah, I'm ignoring the elephant in the room. So, 
don't worry about that one for now. Um, Really? Now you choose to play that move. Now you choose to play that move. Okay. This could be fun. I mean, I guess they built their castle, so... Sure. But this blocks both your rook and your bishop. Were there not other moves you could have played? I don't understand where you're going with this. So I'm threatening to promote my rook. But also I'm threatening to drop a pawn attacking this bishop, which I've been on the receiving end of that uh, tactic a couple times this month. So maybe it's my turn to actually get to play something like that. So they might take here, they might defend against my attack some other way. Um, um, this is awkward. This is extremely awkward. Okay, I will exchange these. And then I will offer a rook trade. Except once you drop the lance, then I'm just going to move my rook away. So... I guess first, um, I guess the first place I want to move my rook away to, I'd like Not to enough. know if you're going to push this pawn or drop a lance in front of it. Okay, so you've moved the pawn that defends your king. Interesting. Do I want to move my rook again? Is this is like deal or no deal. Um, all right, uh, I guess then we'll move over here next. Let's see, do you drop the lance or push the pawn? If you push the pawn, I just might take it and promote, but that might not be my smartest course of action. I could just also take the rook and then drop a pawn here, and then also win a bishop. Yeah, that looks like a good deal to me. I built something called Left Mino. <laughs> You're expecting the classic duck bishop sack. Yeah, maybe that would have been appropriate.
I don't think a bishop sack could have turned out worse than what we're seeing here. All right, this looks like an interesting direction to attack from. Uh, I saw that, but didn't think that was fatal or anything. I think a knight could prove useful here considering that this silver is protecting the gold. So if I were to drop a knight here, or drop anything there really, but a knight in particular would force them to take it. Um, okay. Well, this is interesting. Um... Gofun. Check. I've been on the receiving end of so many things like this. Uh, so, maybe I've learned a thing or two. I mean, one thing I tend to do is project a false sense of confidence. That is a sense of confidence which I don't really have. And then after I do that, I tend to F things up. Um, so, let's be a bit cautious this time. Yeah, I gave them a free tempo. Something. It's a bit reckless of me.
2分30秒2分。Yeah, I don't know what to do about this lance battery, other than just run. Running doesn't seem terrible. Oh, but this gives their king somewhere to run to. That's actually quite annoying. That was not right. That was not right. Back one square would have been safer. Well, maybe it was right after all.
1分三十秒。二十秒。10秒。Now I had five minutes to figure this out, and I could not figure it out. All right, thanks for the game. Well played. So that shows the difference between one Q and one Don. Um, that on this site. Yeah, there's once you've hit one Q, it doesn't really mean anything. There's an enormous gap between one Q and one Don on this site. So, gotta practice. Yep, just gotta learn. Just have to lose. I mean, they lost seven thousand three hundred eighteen games. We've lost one hundred forty nine games. So, by my count. In order to learn how to properly attack, we need to lose about 7,200 more games than where we're at. So, um, yeah, the, I'm assuming that win rate has something to do with either their choice of who they normally get paired with, so they normally get paired with different opposition instead of like getting paired down like this, or perhaps they just played these extremely high-variance openings. Uh, but either way, they survived my attack. They played quite well. So, yep, yeah, we're working our way. We're gradually learning how to play this static rook thing, but it's not easy. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Just, yeah, the first foul rook hasn't been very effective. And maybe he's rotating his openings like I am. You never know, right? Anyway, hope you enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.